In the heart of Los Angeles, there's an active fossil hunting site called the La Brea Tar Pits. Crude oil has been seeping from the ground for thousands of years making tar pits. These pits have trapped many large animals that moved in thinking these were water pools. Predators followed in the pits to eat the large herbivores. Trapped animals died in the tar, their soft body parts decayed, and their bones were preserved very nicely. Scientists and volunteers have been pulling the bones from these pits and assembling the skeletons. There are more than 100 tar pits in this area. Some pits were active in the past, but now they are just fenced. 27 Colombian mammoths were extracted from pit number 9. Pit number 91 is active pit. 73 saber-toothed cats, 56 dire wolves, and one Colombian mammoth along with many other animals are extracted from this pit. Let's go in to see the active extraction. They have created this platform where workers and scientists can sit or stand and fill the pails with tar. The pails are analyzed and fossils are extracted. You could see some bones sticking out from the tar. In the past, some of the tar blocks were kept in crates that are analyzed now by scientists. You just dig out this whole thing, the whole, the whole cube? Yeah. Yeah, when it was discovered in 2006, mm -hmm. and they wanted to build that parking lot, they had to physically remove the deposit. Oh. And when we found out that there were fossils still in this deposit, that's when the brand tar pits was created so that we could keep these deposits and constantly keep looking at them. So this deposit is the same one that was taken out in 2006. And now we're just starting to work on it. Just go through it, sift through yeah, it. Yeah, just it's a lot of work. Go through it. Yeah, we're using these small gentle tools. Oh. Sometimes chemicals enable to get through to the bottom. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. Good job. Thank you. The fossils and findings are kept in the Page Museum close by. Let's go to the museum. Colombian mammoth was one of the largest mammals found in the USA and Central America. After the DNA analysis from the bones, scientists concluded that the crossbreeding of woolly mammoth and the steppe mammoth resulted in the Colombian mammoth. A very nice display of Colombian mammoth skeleton extracted at La Brea's. Ground sloth was a very large mammal. When I feel the femur of the ground sloth, it feels like well-oiled leather. Unlike other fossils where bones feel like rocks because of the mineralization or petrification. In California, we used to have a camel that became extinct. Mastodons were primitive evolutionary species of elephants that lived alongside of mammoths. Out of the many predators that existed, dire wolves were very common in this area. More than 4,000 dire wolf skeletons were found here in the LA Labria tar pits. This wall is an amazing display that shows 404 dire wolf skulls extracted at Labria. Another fierce predator, saber-tooth cat or saber-tooth tiger was one of the largest prehistoric cats. They had 8 inch long canines. These canines were used to sever the trachea of the prey to kill them in one bite. In this section of the museum, scientists sift through the materials from the tar pits. Bones are cleaned and sorted for skeleton assembly. A station that shows how hard it is to pull yourself out of the tar.